Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. Let's see now. Mighty Kin, City of Zhangyang. Zhangyang, yeah, something like that. <laughs> I apologize for butchering in the, the words, but that's how it goes. Um, that was trying up here. That was trying down here. Oh, yeah! Uh, I'm gonna need the temple too. Um, <laughs> oops. Clear away all that. In favor of a temple. Oh, wait, is the. Oh. Okay, never mind, it's actually a very large structure. Let's build it down there then. Okay, so. Delete all these sculptures for nothing. I thought it was a 3x3 three three structure, but it, it is not. <laughs> it's quite a bit more than that. There we go, we'll just have to statuify the rest of this. Should build more dragon sculptures given our dynasty name, but still. <laughs> escapes my it escapes my mind most of the time. And it's time to build more troops. Okay, I'll some of this. We're gonna need some other troops too, so let's see. A crossbow fort. Oh we would actually like it there. Good. One catapult fort. How many can I actually build? Cavalry. Another infantry. Employees needed. Yeah, I know. But that's okay. Sadly, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, these workers are still going all the way down, rather than depositing their weapons here. Oh well, no matter. We only have so much iron you can import anyway, so... Oh yeah, and the gods, which I keep forgetting. Yes, you're unhappy. Not my fault that you actually chose to enter the city. Um, we should have plenty of hemp, that should make you... Content, perfect. And you're admiring. Uh, let's see if they want to trade. And we're going to send them more ceramics. And see if that changes their mind. I mean, it's, it's worth a shot. I never know. I still need to finish all this before we have a chance at actually conquering them, I think, so... <laughs> or rather, I don't want to try until we've secured that. And it's not like we're in a great rush, either. I mean, we still have to finish all of this, and that's gonna take a long-ass time. Um, you could need even more of those laborers, couldn't you? Toss one more camp in. Just to speed it up even more. Let's see now, they have to fill in all this, then stamp it down, then have to make another another round, another plateau, and then they're gonna actually build the darn temple, or palace rather. So this is gonna take a while. <sighs> for an emissary from... okay... Permit... Uh, they're quite happy to give us wood. Not that we particularly need it. Uh, why not give that to our subject state too? Hmm... 
There we go. I mean, you want to accept the gifts, but you have to, uh, you have to leave room for them. Undoubtedly, they're going to ask some favor in return at some point. And that ain't going to be fun, but still. have the same idea. Let's trade. Yeah, I was thinking, is it worthwhile uh, inviting Queen Mother to speed up this? I don't know. At any rate, uh, we were going to open trade with someone. The Nomad Camps. Yeah, I'll pop them down there, that's fine. And we want to export the Silk. I have a feeling it's not gonna work giving them gifts. Still. Perhaps if you send up another rich grift to them of something they desire. Yeah, about that. Uh, yet another. And another. Uh, well, how much ceramics do we have to spare? That's the question. Because that's the gift they want. Well, okay, we have... We have a fair amount. We'll just wait until they reacted to the wood that we sent. All these are of course locked, they can't evolve beyond where they are now because they need lacquerware. And the only source of lacquer is our revol revolting subject state. Uh, okay, you react to that, so let's send you some more ceramics. We'll see, they might finally cave in at some point. And if not, we should have the military forces by then. No point in expanding the city further. By the looks of things, we're doing good on the economic side. And we've already gotten all the service buildings for our rich folks. So we don't really need anything else at the moment. Uh, did we did build a mint? Yes, we did. So we're not losing money there. And here you're waiting for good deliveries, but they should be on the way. Yeah, there we go.
yeah, so much extra silk. We could. <laughs> Uh, at least we're not short of raw silk. It's not like it's a problem, really, <laughs> to have excess goods. Speaking of, I probably could create a few warehouses for foodstuffs. I mean, we could always gift the stuffs away. And it would be a good gauge on whether or not we have uh, excess supplies or things. In. Uh, there isn't room for three warehouses here, only two. Let's wait for that. Instead, we might just pop down on the middle instead. Yeah, we're gonna do that, I think. Uh, that will be close to yeah, that's gonna... That is gonna get an inspector. Uh, that turn. Use quantities of cabbage. And rice and salt. I do think we have quite a few excess goods, excess loads of stuff. Uh, <laughs> well, we can always try to export the wheat and the millet. Probably have way more than we need anyway, so why not? Oh, well, there we go. Oh my, we now have a fair number of unemployed. And there we go! Oh, what do you know? It actually worked. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, in that case we're gonna export ceramics, we're gonna export carved jade, we are gonna import rice. We're definitely gonna import lacquer. And now I pretty much need an entire new district just for lacquer. And that's gonna be a bit tricky to fit in. Okay, permit. Yes, I would love to establish trade again. Hmm. It has to be behind the palace here, so let's add two squares out. this. We're gonna fix this. over here. I'll, I never remember where the heck the darn thing, the darn dude is. There we go. Okay, we're gonna be here. We are gonna have a warehouse to accept the good stuffs.
Yeah, sure. Now you need employees. Uh, tear down this. And we'll set up another carpentry shop on the other side. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're exporting a little bit of wheat. Just a little bit. But now at least we should provide these guys get all the timber they need, which could take a while. Yeah, that's true. Um, I need a shortcut for you guys. Something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, it just have to, has to work. And it looks like we're already importing... Lacquer. Um, we probably don't want to buy rice from you, now to think about it. Because that means we're gonna, not going to be able to shop as much lacquer as we could every year. Forgotten about the guards again. Oopsie. Uh, don't burn us. Don't burn us. We're actually running short of silk at this point. <laughs> okay. Oh, you yeah, uh, made you a bit too happy there. Don't shop in the city, please. Because then you're going to deteriorate faster, and that's not what we wanted. Okay, so now at least we've gotten the lacquerware sword thing sorted out. Looks like we won't need this military force just yet anyway. After all, that's good. Shu loves us, now that's good. Stay loyal, please. And sell us more lacquer. Yeah, the problem with building that many shops initially is that <laughs> they're gonna uh, supply one shop but not the other all the time. And of course these guys now have full, full loads of wood but it's gonna take forever for them to cart them down where they're supposed to go. Uh. I'm going to add more uh, add more logging sheds, I just need to wait until they've finished up this platform so I can delete all these labor camps and free up the people. I don't want to build another district, which I could do, I suppose, but... I'll leave that for next time we visit the city, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be back here. Since the, the uh, introduction basically told us to reserve space for new projects later. Decline. Hemp isn't really a valuable goods for us, and we have so much of it that that we can't really clear room for it. As you can see there, quite a few workers with hemp cargoes, so we don't need it. If it had been lacquer, on the other hand. Speaking of, are any of these actually producing? Not yet. Uh, this one is. No, it isn't. Dang it. Because the lacquer is supplied to one side and the timber is supplied to the other, so... <laughs> it's gonna take a while for this to even itself out. But they're trying. This one's working now. 
Yeah, good. We don't need a lot of lacquerware. Make these guys upgrade. Good, they've begun stomping down things here. It's not the prettiest, prettiest location for it, I know, but... We're gonna go with function here, I think. Always. Always function. And the only benefit, really, from having those monuments is that they will make one of the gods pretty happy. Uh, but that just will just cause them to spawn there, and that's about it. I don't know what, what, what else will actually happen, so the location of these usually doesn't matter. At least as far as I can remember. And of course, usually this is gonna be the end criteria to complete the mission anyway. <laughs> Since this is usually the what what takes the most most time. Just need a couple more stampers. There we go. And to complete camps. I'm gonna keep one. Just in case there's a step I forgot, so. And all these people are gonna be put on logging duty. There we go. Chop, chop. Okay, so now we have the carpenters kicking off the uh, support brackets there. And next up I assume is going to be the superstructure, which is going to require more wood. Which is why we did this. Since right now we have a huge demand for timber. Both for our lacquerware industry and for this. We could solve that by importing wood as well. Uh, which... Well, it's not really a terrible idea. It would work. Um, um, why aren't you producing? You only have one. Are you telling me you need one more cart of wood before you can actually produce a catapult? That's the only one. And it, there's supposed to be four, I think. Let's move him around and see what happens. No, I think they need another load of, of wood before they're actually able to produce that catapult. And I, don't, I don't think they're actually gonna get it, because... It is mostly being delivered here first. Now oh, we'll see what happens. We'll just give it time. And again, we could import wood as well, I think. Yeah, from here, for example. Don't think we're gonna need it, though. And now lacquer is finally produced, good. Is that close enough? Yes, it's close enough. And they have upgraded. And they all need drama access at this point, which I can't provide them. But they all did upgrade to their highest level, so the extra groundway is certainly doing what it's supposed to. 
That should fulfill one of the requirements. No. Oh yes, of course, they haven't moved in yet, so that's fine. It's gonna be enough here, I think, because it's gonna double the occupancy in all these buildings. We'll have 260 occupants. Oh, the proper requirement. Yeah, that's fine. So we're gonna get that. That just leaves this. Itsy bitsy temple. And unfortunately we're not producing enough wood. You know what, we're gonna import wood. Anything to speed up the process. Uh, and speaking of things with time, it is time for a break, I think. Thank you for watching.